the contemplation on death and uh, yeah this book we have that we now i will read this uh, part so that you can at least hear it and think about it we often hear of people dying death comes to everyone who is born just as a lamp burning in the in wind is easily swept away let's reflect on death in this same way death comes to all to the rich and the poor why not me i will not escape death death is sure to come my way some day birth is followed by death always just as an enemy that follows behind seeking an opportunity to kill life moves fast not halting a minute as the sun that has risen hastens to set life can end like a lightning flash a bubble a dew drop or a line on water death can be swift as a fatal shot even the great buddha with wisdom and power had to let the body die as all beings die what could be said of this body of mine of course it must die surely some day i can die in a twinkle of an eye for absence of food sickness or injury what other fate can come my way death is sure as all must die now we have a rationale for contemplating death normal people putujana lament when faced with death though they avoid thinking of death and immerse themselves in sensual pleasures this is only an escape from reality eat drink and be merry for tomorrow you die the purpose of this meditation is to face the reality of death and solve the problem of existence which is death the solution is not and escape into fantasy and hope for eternal life in heaven after death it cannot be proved until death intervenes to dispel all doubts the solution is to understand existence which begins at birth and ends in death existence is a delusion and so is death death is the problem of existence one who exists has to die death is 
part of existence not the opposite of existence we cannot speak of death without speaking of existence one has to exist before one can die is existence a fact however do we really exist what is existence to exist is to occupy space and time it is the body that occupies space the mind does not occupy space does it occupy time to occupy time is to have a past a present and a future the body does occupy time the past of the body is birth and the future of the body is death the present is decay which is changing does the past exist it has gone does the future exist it has not come does the present exist it is becoming the past every fraction of a second do we then really exist if we do not exist can we really die both existence and death are delusions said the buddha then there is nothing to worry about but we all worry about death because we think we exist our life in existence is irrational it is only an emotional feeling when the mind is free of emotions the feeling of existence disappears only then can we be happy so let us begin to meditate and free the mind of emotions emotion is a motion of the mind the mind free of emotions is a mind that is still don't be lazy to still the mind this meditation on death is to create a sense of urgency and fear which helps overcome laziness and drowsiness tena mid that reduces mental alertness during meditation so that's good huh <laughs>